80, I'm here with uh, Bill Cook. Uh, he uh, used to own this Tidewater boat here. Uh, it's a 2011. He traded in for a new 2012 Sea Hunt. Uh, Mr. Cook, uh, wh why did you trade? Wh why were you trading the boat in? Well, I bought this boat, the Tidewater, which I enjoyed. But I bought it for fishing in the Navasink, the Shrewsbury Rivers, and also on Barrington Bay up by Sandy Hook. Uh, as I got a little bold, we took it out a little further out into the ocean. Um, as you can see, the flare isn't as, isn't as wide as the sea hunt, and um, we had a little, little when it was a good chop in the water, we were getting, we were getting wet, getting gotcha. sprayed a lot, having trouble, and it was also rocking quite a bit, because there's a lot of big boats come by when we were in the ocean and rocking us back and forth on it. We decided to look at another boat, went to the boat show in Atlantic City, and were impressed immediately with the sea hunt. Yeah, and it, as you can tell, you got 50 degrees of dead rise on this boat, actually 55 on this boat, 55. on the entry, and on the entry of your tide water, I believe it's about 40. Yes. So you got a lot more uh, cutting the waves in the chop. That might work. The tide water might work for you down in the back bays or in a, in a small, smaller waters or flatter waters, but here in New Jersey, it's pretty choppy. Right, and it, the, the flare on this is also wider. Yes. And it sits uh, much higher in the water. even when A lot it's, more flare. Yeah. More flare and sits higher in the water. Even when we took it out for a trial, the water, the water wave and, uh, and spray off the back was only in the back third of the boat. And it's a pretty choppy day today. It's raining, right? Yeah, so. yeah. And, How? Uh, and uh, we also, it's also wider. Mm -hmm. um, it also turned very nice, handled very nicely in turns. Now, how was the how was the performance on on the ride you just took? Oh, very nice. We're very impressed with it. Liked it very much. When we took the first test ride on it, we were very impressed. That's why we came back and decided okay. to go with the Sea Hunt. We enjoyed it. Very Great. Much. How was your uh, experience here at New Jersey Outboards? Excellent. That's another thing. I've, we've been impressed with you guys since the Atlantic City Boat Show. Everything that they promised, they delivered. Um, the the, the, the uh, delivery of the boat and the instruction that came with the boat was excellent. One covered everything. I don't have to worry about anything. If I need anything, I just have to call. I'm confident that everything, if I have a problem, will be handled again by New Jersey Outboards. I was very impressed by their customer service. So you, so you would say whole design is a big deal when uh, when you got rougher water, huh? Yes, without a doubt. You definitely need a wider Just to give you guys a... And a deeper uh, dead rise going in. You know, there's your difference in dead rise. Yep which is very prominent yes. and you're getting uh, your full boat in the water here if you got a 21 foot boat it is you're getting full 21 in the water right. unlike so many other designs out there not just tide water right. where the dead rise just starts all the way back here you lose two or three feet right i wasn't i mean I, I, uh, tide water worked well for what i was using it for but when i decided to get bolder and go out further you know, a mile or two off the coast. Sometimes when it was choppy, it was hairy. Yep, so, good boat. Just yeah. uh, it depends on where you're where exactly. you're fishing at. You know. This, is, this one is much more for what I'm going to be using it for. Excellent. Uh, so with the t-top, the lights front and back, the lighted boat up. I do a lot of night fishing. Mm -hmm. So I have the lights, uh, courtesy lights, and front light, back light to light up the whole boat if I need it. But I'm thoroughly going to enjoy this boat. Excellent. Glad you're happy, and uh, thank you guys. You're welcome. Thank you.